Hi, I'm Nabil Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how our enemy can have melee attack, follow us and kill us. So without any further ado, let's begin. You will remember from last video what we have done. I did create a playlist for creating a platformer game and my main purpose was to show you how you can write code properly to be easy to read, easy to develop and bug free. So we had this game, you can see when we get close to our enemy, it wake up. If you get closer, it will follow us. If we get again you know, farther from him, it will get back to that um, sleep state and we can kill it no matter what. Okay, and after two seconds, it will disappear. So I want to show you how enemy can have the melee attack like this. Okay, it's like melee attack, right? So as you can see, this is our create event and this is our step event and everything is readable and easy to develop and now we can we want to have attack state right so what we should do we should add a attack state in here so i create a new one attack okay so now that we have this let's just add it to our switch case in here so let's just copy one of these paste it here and we want to write code for attack and we want to create a function for enemy attack state right so like this now let's just create this function at the bottom of this this scr enemy let's say function paste our name and now we have the function right like we did in all of these states first thing to do you should open up this sprite in here that is for attacking and what i want to do i want to change when we are at this attack state i want to change the mask and check for collision and after that change back the mask to default one right so what we need to do we need to create a mask for that okay so just select this attack Control d to duplicate it and i want to call it mask at the end of it so you can see no its name is spr druid zapier attack mask and if we open it in here let's just edit it and in here in first frame there is no there shouldn't be any damage at the second third and in here we want check if the player is in here and if the player is in here should take damage right so what i'm gonna do i want to create a new layer in here at top of this layer and for example let's just create a box in here that represent our collision box and that's i think is enough and we can create that box for for this as well we can do it for this frame as well and for this frame for example as well and now you can see the these white boxes is our collision mask okay so you can see it here but what i'm gonna do i want to click on this button in here so no we just have our collision mask and you can see it right so that's how i want to do it let's just close it and you can see we have this collision boxes in here for each frame so first of all i want to go to enemy logic in here and in here i want to check if we are close enough to the player after that we should attack the player right so i i want to just copy and paste this five line of code paste it here and in here i want to say if distance to player is less than something like 40 okay if you open up these you can see um you can check from here to here uh, how much is melee attack range of this enemy right so i want to give it 40 and if the play distance to player is less than 40 attack the player and i want to create a variable for that and i want to say can attack player okay so if it's less than 40 can attack player should be true and if it's not less than 40 should be false and let's just create this at the create event in here at default it should be false right now in enemy logic we know when we can go to attack a state right but in what state we can trigger this attack state in a sleep we shouldn't be allowed to do it right because it's a sleeping but in enemy wake up it should be able so in here we check if can attack player is true change the enemy state to enemy attack right and let's see where other else we can put this if can attack player to trigger or attack a state so we could do it in enemy wake up but we can do it in walk state as well so in walk state we say if can attack player is true go to attack state okay 
and that's all we need to do in these states another thing that i want to do in here in the enemy movement we when we are in attack state enemy shouldn't be able to move right so for preventing the enemy movement when we are in attack state we say we add an add and in here and we say if not attacking if the can attack player is false in that case you can change your position by this you can move and we can move right so now that we have this let's just go down and in here we say a sprite index like all of the estates we first say a sprite index equal spr droid zapper attack okay we set the sprite index and we change the image speed if it's minus one for example we set it always so we set image speed to one and at the end again we check if can attack player is false okay go back to for example wake up state so let's just copy it from here okay and let's just test this to see if it's working or not if it has a problem or not now if we go close to our enemy it's attacking us at the right spot and if we get farther from him it will go to wake and if we again get farther more farther from him it will go to sleep it will go to wake up a state and it will follow us and it will attack us know that it's attacking us i want to show you how you can get damaged by it so everything is working visually but our player is not dying or is not damaging so what i'm gonna do i think the best way to do it is like this first of all we should change the mask index to the mask index that we create at the beginning of this video so you say spr droid zapper the attack mask right and at the end of all collision calculating we want to change it back to mask index equal droid spr droid zapper attack okay so first we change the mask index to the mask that we create we check some stuff in here and after that we change it back to spr droid zapper attack okay so for that i want to use instance place list okay so what this function do with this function you can check a position for collision with all instance of an object using the collision mask of an instance right so this is what we are gonna do and i think this is the best optimized way to do it okay so what it need it need an x and y that we can give it the x and y of our enemy the object that we want to check is object player and it needs a list so let's just create that list up here we can say var for example list is equal ds list create okay so know that we have this list in here we can put it in here so it will check if there is a collision with object player or players and it will put it in our list okay so for order no i don't want to be ordered but you can have it so after this if you again go to documentation you can see the return is the number of instance found to be in collision so the number of the instance so let's just put, uh, create a variable in here call it num and with this if the num is greater than zero it means it hit the player right because it returns the number of instances found to be in collision okay so we can say if num was greater than zero for example show a debug message and say that player got hit okay so after all this we can destroy our list so we didn't leak any memory so like this we give it our list in here and it will destroy it so if we run our game now it shouldn't work because i did forget to change the collision mask in here okay so you can see in each frame it's just these black box but we want it to be these white boxes okay so how we can do that we can change this to automatic and in here precise we are just shake the precise per frame and you can see no it's just using these white boxes that we create for collision okay so save it and run it again and now it should work and you can see the player is getting hit in here and let's just delete this and you can see that it get hit again and again and again follow us kill us okay and now everything is working and we can kill it right this was one way to do this melee attack for enemy but there is other ways i found this way to be a best way best optimized way and in my opinion the best way to do it so i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel 
Thank you very much for watching. Bye.